All right, guys, so we're going to talk about uh, Gordon Ramsay and how that came about. This is a long time coming, and I just haven't been able to film this. So um, they contacted me through email. Um, the producers did. I guess they were browsing YouTube and looking for someone that dealt with spear fishing in the Great Lakes and um, the shipwreck stuff too. So uh, when the network got their direction from whoever they worked for, um, they were told they wanted a shipwreck and uh, spear fishing. So I guess they must have Googled that or YouTubed it and they kind of came across my channel. And so they had sent me an email um, just basically being very bland about hey we have this food and adventure TV show would you be interested we're gonna be filming in Michigan and I was a little bit skeptical because I get quite a few emails with people that um, like on especially on Instagram they want to help you promote or grow this and it always ends up turning out you got to pay them um, so I ended up emailing the guy and we started corresponding and you know it sounded pretty legit um, I didn't realize it was with Gordon Ramsay until probably I don't know a month after corresponding uh, my wife um, did some googling on her own and she kind of figured it was so I ended up asking them you know after talking for quite a while it's like hey um, you know what who is this with what's it for and they're like oh we thought we told you it's with Gordon Ramsay his uh, show Uncharted so that was cool um, so it ended up being last September I went up to the UP and filmed with them so it's been a long time um, it's a it's been a long process to film edit and then get it out I actually thought they forgot about it or scrapped the entire thing because it's uh, taken so long so um, they pretty much put it in my hands to figure out where we were gonna go um, up there in the UP they were based out of Marquette so within you know an hour of Marquette so that's why I chose Munising um, where we're, we were gonna go as far as the shipwreck goes um, the depth and pretty much they were set on burbot they wanted it's a kind of a Michigan Wisconsin fish so they wanted burbot and um, so that was the guidelines and they pretty much left it up to me so uh, they actually booked me a boat with Joe Lindquist out of the shipwreck tours uh, the glass bottom boat tours out of Munising and they they rented the boat just for me and Joe actually took me out and I did the uh, initial dives on the Smithmore I think that was just over 100 feet and um, just kind of looking like hey is there burbot because generally burbot are um, deeper colder darker wrecks that's where I find them um, so I went down there at the camera and looked around and yep indeed there were burbot so I took photos of them um, and since the network had paid for a boat I wanted to go do some research on the uh, uh, what's the tugboat Stephen Selvig Stephen Selvig so I had to go do some research while he had the boat rented and got some awesome photographs um, I played around with my lights and stuff and since I was the only one there nobody was in my shot so that was kind of cool so um, went back and um, I I don't know if I, I don't remember if I met with the producers then or if I met with them later on but um, I think I met with them then while I was up there and um, we had lunch and everything and uh, they were great great people um, told them what I had and showed them what I had sent them all the photos and stuff and um, they were happy they were very concerned with time and distance and everything was on such a strict timeline so they wanted to know how many miles it was from the dock to the um, shipwreck and how long it would take there and how long it would take to dive and then get back because Gordon is on a very tight schedule like who is that busy the guy is honestly very busy so the when it came to filming I went back up there a few months later in September um, 
we were up there for uh, a week, so everyone was based out of uh, Marquette in the hotel up there, and they paid uh, for the hotel, and um, I filmed with his bodyguard and stunt double, uh, Gaz, I think he is like British Special Forces or something, cool dude, um, but he put on all of Gordon's uh, stuff, so he looked just like Gordon in the water, and we went and dove the Smithmore, and Brenda, the camera woman, uh, was there, and so we speared some fish, I think we speared some suckers, and like, he really played it up, um, like the sucker was fighting after uh, he speared it, so he was waving the spear in front of the camera, and it's like, oh my god, it's embarrassing, but, so they, they didn't even use that, actually, and, um, if you watch the show, and if you dove the Bermuda, which is actually what we ended up diving on, I'll get to that in a minute, you'll see um, that we're on the Bermuda, but then it actually shows some of the rear railing on the Smithmore. Um, for people that don't know, they'll never know the difference, but if you have a keen eye, you will notice like, hey, the Bermuda doesn't have railings like that. Well, that's why. Um, Gordon had issues with his ears, so at the last minute we had to uh, cancel diving the deep rack there, the Smithmore, and find something else. Well, <clears throat> since we're in Munising, um, the Bermuda is very, very close and sheltered no matter the weather pretty much, so we went out there. Uh, but then we had to deal with the time issue because there are glass bottom boat tours and um, there's a lot of people around, you know, kayakers are gawking and um, coming up close to my boat and stuff and they see that you know Gordon's on board some people didn't realize who he was but um, we had to get in the water and film and everything and then be gone for the the boat tours because they have that uh, posted on the buoys on each end of the Bermuda at what times they come through and they ask that you be clear of the morning so um, we were down in the water and and uh, swimming and everything and I'm watching the time because I'm very respectful um, so it gets time and I, I tell Gordon it's like hey we gotta go well he does another stinking lap around the whole wreck because we hadn't found a fish to spear and it's like what are you gonna do he's Gordon Ramsay so I just swim after him and uh, we do another lap Brenda's filming and um, so it comes time we, we pop up at the back of the boat and we ended up having to pop up out of the water like three different times for the camera and film the bit at the end where, hey, we didn't get anything, but uh, Dusty, can you get me something for the final cook? And I'm like, yep, no problem. I'll see what I can do. Um, so we had to do that like three different times. And then we finally get out of the water and I, I just moved the boat real quick because the uh, glass bottom boat tour was coming. So thankfully we had enough time and didn't interfere with them. So um, and, and then once we got our gear off, I started heading back to the dock. The boat, um, my, my big boat, my Osprey Expedition, that was so filled with people. There was like eight or nine people on board. The thing was so heavy, I couldn't get on plane on the way back. Um, I ended up cracking a propeller. It's a composite, uh, dual prop. So there's two props on one hub that counter rotate. I ended up cracking one because I was trying so hard to get up on plane and I couldn't. Uh, on the way out there, we actually did get up on plane, I think. I was on uh, the back filming with Gordon, so, um, yeah. So it was uh, very time critical. Once we get back to the dock, Gordon films his bit, everyone's unloading, and then they're gone. Um, but he had to go for the final cook, which was being filmed in uh, that evening as well. So after I got the boat all put up on the trailer and stuff I dropped it off at a local friend's house and then I had to go to the final cook like in two hours so that's why Gordon had to take off I think but everything was just so quick I mean and and I ended up waiting for him that morning for like an hour to show up so we um, are at the dock all the camera people are there the sound people they're loading everything on the boat and we literally wait like an hour for Gordon to show up and so once he gets there it was like three to five minutes that I get to meet him and talk to him 
and then cameras are rolling like it happens so fast and then you got to pretend like you've been uh talking to each other the entire time and corresponding it's like so that's why i was like hey gordon you made it and uh and then he walks down the dock to me and so we ended up filming that bit like five times they wanted it from all different angles like the drone the long shot the close shot so like it's just done over and over and over um so they can mix and match uh however and so if you watch the show um you'll see him ask me like and how does it taste when we're talking about the bourbon and i actually said well i've never had it but i'm hoping to uh get some this trip but if you watch the show they film creatively uh, cre creatively so they can mix and match shots so we're never in the same shot at the same time um, so what they ended up putting is me saying poor man's lobster um, like I'm saying yeah it's real good poor man's lobster that's what they call it and he's like I'll take that any day so they film all this stuff and with separate audio and far shots so they can mix and match what they want to make what they want so it's actually very creative um, so that's how it goes it's just a little bit of TV magic to make things um, come out as they want so uh, when we get to the final cook he has already been there with uh, James Delgado the other the other chef and um, they're going at it so as they quietly bring us out and Marquette along Black Rocks. Um, James and Gordon are up top and um, just sec. All right, so um, when they brought us up there for the final cook in, in Marquette, um, they had a nice table set up. You'll see that in the show, um, like a natural live edge table right on the cliffs there. And so we get into place really quietly. We sit there and um, we can see them up on the, the cliff edges and um, he's going at it, you know, Brenda's got the camera moving with him, and so it's really cool. Um, and then they bring down the food to us, and it, it really wasn't well done because I didn't know who the heck made what by the time all the food was in front of us. It's like there's so much stuff with all this fancy names, and they didn't do a good job of explaining who made what. They really should have had, like, it labeled um, I didn't know you know who's what but then the producers are there in front of you just off camera the cameras are all there in front of you the microphones and they're like hey talk about the food amongst yourself and it's like it's good because you didn't be you know I couldn't be like well I like Gordon's this or that you know because honestly I didn't know who made what it was uh, it wasn't explained that well so it was it was good though the food was kind of cold by the time we got it because they had filmed so much and um, you know you're with strangers and trying to make conversation while there's cameras stuck in your face um, there's boats going by on the on the lake so they kind of had to cut for that because of the audio um, but it, you know it was fun it turned out great now it was a great experience and uh, it's fun but at the at the end when Gordon does the walk off you know with the drone shot and stuff from above as he's walking away from us he had to do that like five times and uh, I don't know why and he ended up saying like after like the fourth or fifth time he's like how do you fuck up a walk off <laughs> you know because it's you're just walking away so um, super cool guy like high energy he really was interested in what I was doing with the shipwreck hunting and searching and uh, you know he couldn't believe that I pay for it myself out of my own pocket he's like you got to find someone to finance this and he actually um, sent word back or contacted I doubt he contacted him himself but he had the producers contact Nat Geo in London on my behalf about pitching a Great Lake shipwreck show and um, that ended up not going anywhere there, there's just not enough interest, I think, for doing a show at this point. Maybe someday, but 
um, an entire show based off of shipwreck diving or hunting don't know if it'll happen but um, it was really exciting that there was some some follow-up on it though to to even pitch it on my behalf so that was cool so you never know it's just not my time um, to shine at this point so I'm just gonna keep doing what I do um, and I just wanted to share that kind of behind the scenes because I couldn't talk about it per the contract I should couldn't share any photos um, or anything so I didn't want to get in legal trouble so now that the episode is aired I am free to talk about it share photos and all of that so I wanted my patreon people to see this video first and um, then I'll eventually put it out to the rest of the people who um, do enjoy the page but don't necessarily support me uh, but thank you guys very much and um, if you have any questions please shoot them to me I'm sure I missed some of it because there was a lot that happened um, but that gives you the gist of what we did so thanks guys we'll see you later